So we've just been waiting for the puppies to um, finish eating and we're going to do their daily weigh-in and they are seven days old today. They're a week old. Um, now, any time up to around 10 days old, you expect them to have doubled their birth weight. I suspect we're going to have some today that will have already doubled their birth weight. Um, we've already had three yesterday that were over a kilo. Um, and I suspect more of them today will be tipping that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to do them in colour code order this time. I'm just going to, whoever's closest to the edge, um, I'm going to grab. So we're going to start off with Orange, who was the last one born. So he was 519 grams at birth. He is now 996. So very almost double birth weight. And we're going to do his ENS. So wiggle his little toes. Yes, I know. Millie, Dax, you can get out of the way, please. Hello, Dax. You're in the way. Thank you very much. Five. Oh, big yawn. One, two, three, four, five. Dax, you're not helping, sweetheart. And one, two, three, four, five. Good. Please move. Thank you, Millie and you. And one. Get off. Two. Stop. Three, four, five. Stop trying to lick the puppies whilst I'm weighing them. Very much. There we go, blue boy. Mind out the way. Come on, out the way, please, girls. Stop now. So, blue boy was 485 grams at birth. So he was the smallest at birth. He is now 900 and if he stops wiggling, 962. So also very close to doubling birth weight. Millie, please get out. Thank you. Millie, stop, stop. Stop. Millie. So the reason I'm trying to stop Millie from licking them is because when she licks them, she stimulates them to go to the toilet and I'd rather not get peed on. Stop. There you go, good baby. Millie, no. Stop being a pest. Out of the way now. Out of the way. And get off of the puppy pad bag. Thank you. So Red, he was 495 grams at birth. He is now 994. So he has double birth weight which is fantastic, or well, more than double birth weight. They're only seven days old. Bella with her magic milk. So a few of you have asked about how much Bella is eating at the moment. So Bella at the moment is having roughly three times her normal daily amount of food uh, with her kibble and uh, with some mints mixed in as well. And she's also getting extras like um, a scrambled egg, uh, cottage cheese, and things like that as well. Girls, please get out of the way. Good boy. Okay. Oh, and I've written his weight in the wrong box now. Right, who's next? Let's do the pink. Mind out. Girls, move. Stop getting in the way. So, 
Pink was 520 grams at birth and is now 900 and something. Let me sit still. 932. So still a little ways to go, but still doing really well. Face. I've already also had to adjust everybody's collars as well to make them bigger because they've grown. Well done, Bobby. There we go. Who's next? Right. <laughs> Well, we're kind of almost going in reverse order here. <laughs> Great boy. Now he was already over a kilo yesterday. So let's see how he gets on today. Out of the way, girls. So he was 548 grams at birth. He is now 1,141 grams. Get out of it, so he has more than double birth weight now. Absolute jungus. In fact, he's gained 120 grams just from yesterday. <laughs> you are a little unit, aren't you? He was also one of the biggest puppies at birth. So. He's also got very big feet, don't you? The size of your feeties. So Grey is our really, really dark puppy. He's the one I suspect is going to be similar in coloration to Dax. Maybe with just a bit more of a mask rather than the black nose like Dax has. Because he doesn't actually have a black mask. Um, now you'll notice actually a lot of the puppies look like they have black masks at the moment. But if you go and look... Um, at our previous litters as well, you'll notice, for example, the last litter, um, a lot of the puppies were born with black masks and then they, they faded. It's quite common in pups with uh, more wolfy content, but um, obviously some of these guys may have actual black mask noses as well. Um, like their muzzles themselves would be black. Um, so we've got to wait, obviously, genetics wise to see um, where that comes in. Wait, who else? Oh, here. Green boys come screeching over, so we'll grab him. He was also one of the big fatties who was over a kilo. Um, so let's have a look. Out of the way, girls, please. So he was 560 grams at birth. He is now... 194. So... Also, almost double birth weight. Come here, Chungus. There's a good boy. Wiggle, wiggle. Millie, please get out of it. Millie, out of it. Now, please, stop. No, I know you love the babies, but you can't lick them whilst I'm busy. You can lick them later. I know it's easy for you to get two of them out here, not in the box. Stop it. Really? I do not wish to be peed on. Mm, they just look like little teddy bears at the moment. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I know he's that cold. Oh, cold, cold. There we go. So it's just three left. So. Um, who's the gallant? Yellow, yellow, oh, yellow's crawled up to the front here as well. Our way, yellow was also over a kilo yesterday. Millie, please stop. So, this guy should be double birth weight already now. 
he's also an absolute unit. Nilly, get out of it. So he was 545 grams at birth. Yep, he's, uh, he's doubled his birth weight now. He is now 1,133 grams. Millie, out. <laughs> Got a big chungus. <laughs> Millie, don't make me tell you again. This guy also, for some reason, I don't know what it is he does with his collars, um, but he already managed to take his first one off um, and make it not velcro -y anymore by getting fluff stuck all over it. Um, so he's got swapped to this white one that I've written yellow on. Um, and he's also managed to ruffle this one up somehow. I don't know what he's done with it, but it's staying on for now. So we'll leave it as is. As you can see, everybody's pretty chill. Once they've had a, a feed, they're all pretty good. Some of them are pretty rowdy if they're hungry. Um, but I found like doing the, the weigh-ins and the ANS once they've had a feed, everyone's been pretty chill about it, which is really nice. Those are nice relaxed puppies. So we're just gonna get um, two girls now. So we'll grab yellow. There we go. Come on, little girl. In you go. In you, bub. So she was 580 grams at birth, and she is now, yep, she's tipped a kilo, 1,063 grams. Whoop, and she's also trying to climb out the wall. <laughs> Where are you going, monkey? What are you doing, eh? After I've just said everybody's really chill, and you're being a little wiggle bum. That's better, good girl. Little pudding. You calm down again. You just frighten yourself a little bit. Then you keep falling out the bowl. And once you're all over a kilo, I can get the baby scales to weigh you. Yeah. Oh, you're being a little fidget bomb. Yes, you are. Definitely your mother's daughter, huh? <laughs> Good girl. There you go. Oh, and the last one, the purple girl, but she is still, still eating. I wait for her to decide that she's finished. Come on, little one. We're all waiting for you. Hello, Daxi. Hello, buddy. What do you want, sausage? What do you want, little sausage? <laughs> You're a munchkin, aren't you? Where are you, purple? Where's your bum, you? Okay. Come on, little girl. Well, I can't see. She's still eating. Yes, she's still going. Goodness. Daxi, you're in the way, my darling. Come on, you're going to stand on everything. Get out of the way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you missing not being the littlest one anymore? You'll be very happy when you can play with all these puppies. You will. You will. What are you doing? We'll have an Okoto. No, we have an Okoto. Oh, it's a little sausage. Oh, oh. Oh, sausage, where are you going? Okay, okay. We have a cuddle while we wait for purple. Hmm? So Dax has got her um, final health test on the 1st of June. So next Wednesday, she's going to go and have her hips and elbows x-rayed and they'll get sent off to the BVA. And we just have to sort of sit tight and wait for the results because those are the last things she needs doing now. She's had all her DNA tests done. Um, she had her eyes done. Um, so that's the last thing we need um, to see if she will be able to go into the breeding program or not. Um, temperament wise, she's brilliant. So I have no problems with her uh, going through her assessment there. So then we'll be able to make plans for you for next year. Yours. 
You can have your own little squishy baby. Just have to find you a nice boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> Come on, purple girl. She's still going in there, Phil. Might have to steal her and bring her back in a minute. Are you going to move your nose? Or are you going to sit in the way now? With your tail in front of the camera. That's wonderful, Dax. That's so helpful. Thank you, my sweet. Thank you. We'll be back in some more in a minute. Daxie, you're in the way very much now. Move your bum. Come on. Move, move, move. Move out of the way, please. Thank you. Don't sit on the edge of the scales. Dax, come out of the way. There you go. Oh my god, Dax, you're in the way. Okay, so purple was 509 grams at birth. She is now 940, so also almost double birth weight, which is good. So we'll just do her ENS. Out of the way, please, noodle woodle. Yes, that's her toes. There's a good girl. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'll put you back for you to finish your food in, but... Considering this is Dax's first time being around these tiny, tiny baby puppies and the fact that she is so young herself as well, um, she's doing absolutely brilliantly with them. She's being a very, very good girl, aren't you? You're learning all about the babies. Can you move your face a minute? That's it. Two, three, five. There we go. Can you put her back? Yes, you are such a good girl, Dax. There we go. Can go back to eating now. Just have a go. There we go. So that's everybody all weighed in and done. And the ENS done for the day. Everyone's back in there with mommy. You good girl, Bella. Yeah, and Purple's just gone straight back into finishing eating again. So, uh, so that's a good sign. But yeah, so everyone's doing great.